You guys just did another IntelliCam install. I'm going to do a show and tell here. Uh, got a nice pool here in Newport Coast. Do a quick look at the view. Pretty nice. The equipment's over here. I'll show you guys in a second. It's a little noisy, so I'm going to shut the uh, pump off. Okay, so here it is. There's the system, there's the controller on top, got the pH and ORP sensors, and then here's the uh, acid tank and the chlorine tank. And on this, on this install, I may, probably didn't need to, but I actually hard plumbed the fittings in the kit. It comes with a little bit different parts, but I, I added PVC tees just for better durability. But uh, you can see there's the fittings for the flow cell. And you can see here, those are the fittings for the injectors. One of those is chlorine, one is acid. Those are actually check valves where they only let chlorine and acid in, they don't let water out. Here's a better look at it. You can see here, so I used PVC tees and they're threaded and they just accept the injector as a good look. And uh, added a check valve in between. You can see where the chlorine and acid goes down there. So we've got a check valve just protecting the heater. So it keeps all the, the chems away for, from it in case someone shuts off the pump. It'll just keep it in the pipe. But for the most part, that it just adds a little tiny bit of chemicals, a little bit of chlorine, a little bit of acid. I'm gonna shut this, I'm gonna turn on the pump. I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so pump's firing up. You can see we got a alarm because there's no flow. And we got a flow delay. I'm going to bypass that. You can push up and down, it'll bypass the, the wait time for the flow. You see there's our pH and chlorine. The pH is 7.6. I'll just do a preview of uh, this thing will run for about five minutes just to mix up the water and then it'll add some acid if needed. I'll do a, a test run here, I'll show you guys if you need to dose it or when it doses i'll dose it manually just so you can see it so that's what it looks like when it's dosing you can see this pump spinning it's feeding some acid and i'm going to shut it off because we don't we don't need much acid in there ph is already almost it's pretty much perfect so yeah it's actually 7.6 is pretty good. I actually have it the set point at 7.5. So it'll do the same thing when the chlorine or the ORP gets to a, a below the set point, it'll add some. It's a great system. I've installed several of these and uh, that's about it. Just doing a show and tell. Well, 